Hi, I am Ani Munira Muhammad from atlasti.malaysia.com. In this video, I am going to explain to you the first step in doing literature reviews using Atlas TI, that is to prepare the literatures. Right, so um, step number one out of three is to collect the literatures. Definitely, we need literatures because we want to do literature review, right? So, the first step is you need to focus on numerous types of literatures that will be relevant for your own research. For example, textbooks, government reports, new newspaper articles, and etc. So, where do you find them? You can get them from online databases, for example, Google Scholar, EBSCOhost, LawNet, and other online databases subscribed by your university or institution. Other than that, you can also go for offline databases. For example, you can go to the library. You can ask from your friends, your teachers, and also you can try to get from your support group. Uh, what about if you have offline literatures? For example, they are hard copy documents. Because we want to use Atlas TI for literature review purpose, we need the literatures to be in soft copy format so I would advise you to digitize these literatures for use in Atlas TI. Right, that's step number one to collect the literatures, to collect as much literatures that are very relevant for your research and we're going to move on to step number two now. Once we have those literatures, we're now going to prepare the literatures for the purpose of review using Atlas TI. First and foremost, I would advise you to rename those literatures according to the indicated formats. For example, you can go for each of those documents or each of those literatures, you put them into the format of author, comma, year. Or some of us are very accustomed to have the title in their um, name of that document, so they can put author, comma, year, comma, title. Or some also name their documents based on theme. For example, this one talks about theory, this one talks about concept, this one talks about problem, for example. So you can put the author, year, and theme. Now, there's a reason for that because apart from uh, management of uh, literature's purposes, it will also be very helpful once we have them in the Atlas TI software. Number two. I would advise for you to synchronize the literatures that you have collected with bibliographic reference managers, for example, EndNote, Mendeley, RefWorks, and etc. So, any type or any bibliographic reference managers that you have chosen for your writing purposes, you can just choose one because they will definitely do the same thing. Uh, but it will help you for references and also for building up the bibliographies. Now, uh, some people might ask, I'm already using EndNote or Mendeley or Refux. Do I still uh, need to use Atlas CI? Or can I only use Atlas CI without having to use EndNote, Mendeley or Refux? Now, let me tell you, as of today, this is January 2015, the features available in Atlas CI for the purpose of uh, literature reviews is confined to content analysis or you want to analyze or read through or categorize or segmentize the contents of your literatures. But for the purpose of bibliographies and also referencing citation, you will still need to use bibliographic reference managers. In this example, uh, in this video, I'm going to use EndNote as my example, bibliographic reference manager. I'm going to use it together with Atlas CI. You can, all, you can put all those literatures into a single folder for easy access, definitely, because I have put my literatures into a, so, uh, into a single folder on my desktop. And if you have a lot of literatures and you decide that you want to have subfolders, that's perfectly fine. Okay, You can have subfolders in the main folder of your uh, literatures. It will be very, very easy if you're already using bibliographic reference managers, for example, and note your PDF documents would already be arranged in a specific folder uh, which contains subfolders uh, in your EndNote uh, application. Right, let me show you an example now. 
I have one folder on my desktop named Smoking and Cancer. When I double click, it will bring up to me five documents, PDF, which have already been renamed into the format of author, year, uh, a few words from the title. Author year, a few words from the title, and a few year is very... Uh, this one is automatically generated by EndNote, so I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to rename them uh, manually. But if you do have documents uh, that you have uh, collected manually, then I would advise you to rename them according to this format. Right, coming back. That's step number two. I've already prepared my literatures, renamed them according to this indicated format, and I also synchronized them with EndNote. Let me just show that. This is my EndNote library. The five documents I have in my uh, folder on my desktop is exactly the same as the ones that I have in my uh, in my uh, EndNote library here, entitled Smoking and Cancer. So I can have these entries in my EndNote application, right? Uh, very similar to the ones uh, on the PDF. These PDFs are actually located on that. Uh, folder on my desktop. I can also choose to have a preview or the applicated or the details of the reference. Okay, now I have them all together, and now I want to start using Atlas CI. Step number three of three in this uh, first video is to add them to the Atlas CI HU. Of course, HU is for hermeneutic unit for those who are familiar with Atlas CI. Uh, we normally use the terminology HU is an acronym for uh, hermeneutic unit, which is a project created in Atlas CI. First, we're going to create a new hermeneutic unit, and then we're going to add those literatures on my desktop as primary documents, or in short, I'm going to use the word PDs. I'm going to add comments to the PDs, for example, what are the description of the PDs that I want to put in, for example, the citation and also the abstract, which is very easy for me to do if I am already using EndNote just now. I'm going to group these PDs according to families, and finally, I'm going to save the issue. I'm going to demonstrate that everything that I have mentioned here, number one, I'm going to create a new hermeneutic unit now, so you can see the title of the issue is already a new hermeneutic unit. And I'm also going to open this folder on my desktop, which contains the five literatures that I want to use and I want to do a literature review on. So I'm just going to highlight all these documents and I'm going to drag them to the PDOX uh, drop-down menu here. And... Uh, okay, at the CI will report to me that five files have been successfully converted and added to the project. So that's it. I have these five documents in my project, the ones on my desktop. Now they have already been added to the library of my uh, issue. Okay, all these PDs, these PDF documents, has already become PDs in my project. Okay. What next? Um, I'm going to add comments to the PDs. Right. So this is uh, quite interesting because I can open the click on the PDOS button to open the primary document manager. The Each of these documents are listed okay, according to the numbers of their primary documents. Um, if I add them all five together just now, they have been arranged alphabetically as you can see. Right. The bottom of this primary document manager is the area where I can put the comments. Comments are descriptions for each and every one of these. So what I do is I will simply click on article number one here by Izano 2014. I'm going to go to EndNote here. I'm going to look for Izano. I'm going to click on preview and I will copy all these. Because all these are number one, this is the citation as you can see on top here. And I'm using annotated style. Okay, you can choose which style you want to use. So I'm just going to copy this. This is the uh, the citation. And this is the abstract. So what I do is I will simply highlight all. I'm going to copy and I'm going to go to my Atlas CI project. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, as you can see, I already have the citation as well as the abstract. 
And I'm going to do the same thing for the others as well. I'm going to go to Lator. Okay, here I'm going to copy all. And I'm going to go to Atlas CI. Right, okay, Lim. Okay, this, of course, in the beginning it will take some time, but uh, as you progress through your reading, okay, uh, uh, you practice more, then you can do this in no time. Okay, Maslin. I like all. I'm going to go to here. Right, and lastly, Miata 2014. Uh, and not Miata. Alright, let's see. Okay, right, that's it. So, for each and every one of these documents, uh, these PDs in my FCI project, I already have the citation, as you can see on top here, and I also have the abstract below here. Now, this will be very useful because it it can refresh me the name of the uh, uh, journal, the title of that article, okay, for example, which will be very useful for my purpose. Right, not only that, my uh, following uh, step is once I have added the comments to the PDs, I'm going to group them according to families. Now, families are like folders, families are shared characteristics. Or features of the literatures and when I look at my FSCI project I find that uh -huh, some of these they are talking about the effects of smoking some of them are defining what is smoking and some of them are defining what is cancer for example so I because they are all belonging to the year of 2014 I can also create a family for 2014 literature so I will highlight all documents and track them here Okay, so this already shows that the riches is doesn't for the riches. In future, if I have 2015, 2012, 2000, 1990, so I will just do the same thing. And I find document number one and number two is published in UK Journal. And this one is published in Malaysian Journal. Why do we create families? Is because we want to uh, see. Uh, it will facilitate us when we want to do comparative analysis in future. Okay, all right. So once I have done that, I can just close this document manager, and finally, I will now save the project. Saving the project for the first time is very easy. I'll just go to the diskette icon here, and again, I'm going to type in the title. I'm going to save it on the desktop. The title is. Uh, smoking and cancer. I'm gonna save it. Oops, smoking and cancer. Oh. Alright. Uh, okay. Smoking and cancer, the title of that project. Now let's go to my desktop. In this folder, smoking and cancer, not only I have the documents, but I have decided to save my issue within the uh, folder itself. Okay, alright, so I have gone through three steps. Okay, you prepare the literatures. Uh, number, sorry, number one, we <coughs> collect the literatures. Number two, we prepare them. And number three, we add them to the project until we save the issue. And that's it. I'm going to meet you in the following video on step number two, okay, going through the literatures. Uh, thank you for watching. I am Anya Munira from atlasdimalaysia.com.